what's up guys welcome back to the video today i'm doing another video with uber eats where i accept every single order if you missed the last one i will have it linked down below it was a hit and a lot of you were saying that you want me to do it again because maybe i got a little lucky in that video because i didn't get any low orders with no tips <laughs> and as i say that here is a $3 order, 19 minutes, 4.6 miles. Just as I said that, like, really, I feel like uh, maybe today is going to be the opposite where I only get $3 orders. While I head to my first pickup, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Um, make sure you're subscribed and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on future uploads. It is 10 o'clock on a Tuesday morning. My husband goes to work a little bit later today, so I'm taking advantage of that and, you know, trying to get some money. Alright, I got the order. It is in my DoorDash bag. It's only one container of food, so it's probably why there's no tip. Now it's saying they are seven minutes away. I didn't have to wait on this food at all. It was already sitting there. All I did was look at the name they wrote on it. And she wants to meet at door. All right, that order is dropped off. And y'all seen I got another order before that one was dropped off. Wow, this smells good. Hold up. They got wings. I know Denny's had wings. They got boneless. This smells so good. I didn't know Denny's had wings. Who's eating wings for breakfast? <laughs> okay, so this order was waiting for me as well. I didn't have to wait at all. It was already sitting there. It's in nine minutes away, you guys. Nine minutes, 3.4 miles. I'm really glad y'all enjoy watching these um, challenge videos you know because so far y'all the only ones getting a thrill out of this because that, that's going to be six dollars in an hour and probably with no tip you guys like i don't know how long i could do this oh, 285 y'all 4.4 miles a Wendy's order y'all like I'm <laughs> I just delivered that order at an apartment on the third floor you guys like all right I'm at the Wendy's drive-thru I never go through the drive-thru but when you scroll up it says please use the drive-thru window to pick up orders so hopefully they don't give me attitude about coming through the drive-thru but it says to which normally it always says go in because they don't want people like if the order's not ready they don't want the people behind you waiting so eh, i guess we'll see i can have hi i'm picking up a uber eats order for tajini okay all right so it's in the hot bag she did give it to me no problem she even put a sticker over the opening of the bag and i just looked it's um seven minutes away and i just like scrolled down and it said to meet at door it's a hotel and they gave me a phone number to call when i get there so that they could come down and meet me in the lobby as well all right you guys so i dropped that order off i called her she did come out to my car so i didn't have to park and get out of my car and i logged off of the app and i used the bathroom um at a local wawa and yeah i'm currently balling at eight dollars and 92 cents i made that in only an hour and 20 minutes you guys this is not okay that was in three orders so now that we know what happens when you accept these low orders I am going to stop doing this whole accept every order challenge. I'm going to keep delivering though. I just, I can't keep doing this to myself and it, it's, I can't. Like we, I work for myself. I am able to pick 
which jobs I think are worth the money and worth my time and I hope this really shows you guys like what happens when you accept these low paying orders and they don't end up tipping afterwards. It's 11.40 now. So now that you get like the whole idea of what happens if you accept every order, I'm stopping that and I'm going to start cherry picking. I know some people say, well, somebody asked to deliver that $3 order to those people. How else are they gonna get their food? But my, I, what I think Uber does, if so many people decline the $3 order, like yeah, somebody has to deliver their food. So I think, now I don't know, it's just my theory. I think Uber then adds money to it so that you know the next person will see a higher amount and then accept the order because they can't just go not delivering that order. If you agree with that, let me know. If you think they just leave it at $3 and a bunch of people decline it, like what, what do you think happens after so long? Do you think they, increase the price as well I like I do because I mean I don't I don't see what else they would do so with me accepting these really low orders I'm then telling the system yeah it's okay to give me these orders I'll take them all day yo that is not the case I will not be taking any more orders under five dollars and then depending on the mileage because I don't want to end up in BFE for some $5 order. So it's 11.40 now. I gotta be back by my house around one. So I'm gonna try to stay in this area. Bro! How? 10.50, 12 minutes, 1.4 miles. Okay. So if you want to sit and decline everything under ten dollars you can so now i'm gonna go pick up this order and show you guys how much i can make in one hour with cherry picking all right i got the goods and it is four minutes away 0 0.8 miles so it's good right here 16 minutes 2.5 miles Okay, so I accepted that order. Y'all seen I tapped and accepted it. Um, it disappeared. I heard the doo doo and it said something went wrong. So, I don't know. But I delivered that order, which was at a hotel. It was a pain. The GPS kept telling me to go around, and then when I did get to the front, um, it would jump over to the other hotel and I didn't I couldn't see the names of either hotel she came down and met me because she probably watching me go in circles but yeah that's delivered I just parked by Chipotle but while I'm waiting for my next order I wanted to give a huge thank you to Cover for sponsoring today's video I'm really into this company because through my two and a half years of delivering um, with Uber Eats or DoorDash I have never came across a company that offers these kind of benefits they are like insurance for us drivers and they want to make sure that we are earning what we normally earn when things come up like if you get sick if you get hospitalized if your car gets damaged in a car accident they will pay you 80 percent of your earnings that you should be making anyway and for giving me a link for you guys to get a full month free it's down in the description and you do have to log into the accounts that you deliver with and they offer three different tiers um, the one I use is only seven dollars a month no one else offers this kind of coverage for us drivers so five dollars 12 minutes 1.9 miles all right, I got the order. It was sitting there on the shelf already waiting for me, so I grabbed it, and it says it's 1.9 miles away. All right, that order is dropped off. It was at a house, and it was leave at door, so it was so easy. All right, so it is much later. I already made an ending for the video, but I wanted to come back and say a couple things. Um, the lady with the hotel that I had trouble finding, she increased her tip $2. It, it was like a $8 tip. 
she increased it to ten dollars i'll put the screenshot right here for y'all to see and probably because she understood like the gps was literally sending me in circles so with the 505 order also that brought me to 1756 that i made in like 45 minutes so what i make so compare that to the 892 that i made in an hour and 20 minutes by not cherry picking so that just goes to show like in this line of work you have to cherry pick and make these trips worth your time and make the profits worth it so i know you guys really enjoy these videos these challenge videos where i'm accepting every order but this is going to be my last one and i hope this really shows why we need to cherry pick why i do not accept three dollar orders i do want to do more challenge videos because that seems to catch your guys's attention more um i think this weekend i don't know if i can dedicate like a 12 hour shift but uh maybe eight i don't know let me know down below what kind of challenges you want me to do next and i could probably make it happen so thank you for joining me on this interesting short shift um my next video will definitely be longer the weekends i just have way more time to uh deliver y'all know that um so yeah thanks for watching and i will catch you guys in my next video bye